Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is a, a review of the CoverGirl Simply Ages Skin Perfection Skin Perfector Essence. This little baby right here. I've tried this three or four times and it it went viral as some sort of dupe for I think it was a Chanel foundation we don't have Chanel so I can't tell you if it's a dupe or not but I can tell you this I do not like this I'm gonna try it again I'm gonna use it because I got it but <clears throat> it is not my favorite foundation um, I just put a face mask on so my face is good and hydrated and now I'm going to put this on and I'm going to use it with a brush and I'll show you why I really do not like this so there's one pump and there's two it's very runny but it's got little pigments in it little beads It, I mean, it feels like straight water. So, I'm going to take some. I mean, see how it... I don't like it. I just don't like it. But, we're going to go with it. Um, very, very lightweight. I will give it that. I mean, you, you don't feel like you're wearing anything. Which, it's kind of... Personally, this would be a probably a good foundation for no makeup days. Or what are they makeup no makeup days? And I'm just gonna get what's left on my hand and put it in this brush. But <clears throat> I there is just I literally feel like I am rubbing water on my face, you know? So, I mean, this is it. Um, I mean, it, this was a clean brush. I mean, it, it soaked some of it in there. I said, you know what? I can film myself getting ready <laughs> all right I'm going to pop on some bronzer blush set my under eyes and I'll be right back all righty I am back I've got everything my base done um, I used Milani blush I mean Milani bronzer and then I used this Wet n Wild um, Cream Blush. And this one <clears throat> is not my favorite at all. Um, this one is in the shade Dusty Pink. And while it's pretty, it's very shimmery. So... I didn't put any highlighter on, but I also, it, I just powdered it down with my little Dollar Tree blush, the Essentially Ageless Luminizing Blush. I forgot it was luminizing, but, you know, I just kind of powdered over that, um, the cream, because I, it just wasn't a good look, but for the eyes... I'm going to use this ColourPop palette, the Alt Control, Control Alt Glam. It is in collaboration with Marielle, I hope I'm saying that correctly, but it's this palette right here, isn't it pretty? Gosh, it was pretty. So, I'm going to use that. I'm not going to do anything major. Oh, wow. That is super powdery and pigmented. 
So I'm going to kick this off onto the shadow protector. That's a lot. That is phenomenal. The amount of pigment that came from just one tap. Then I'm just going to take just a little bit from what I had kicked off and finish this one. I'm so sorry. I have not turned my phone on Do Not Disturb. I know, pharmacy, I need to go pick up my prescriptions. Now, let's... Go in with, gosh, that shade was really pigmented. Let's go with, I always do purple and pink. Let's go in with this shade right here, which is the, the uh, almost the deepest. It's the deepest warm color, neutral, I'd say. The one beside it is the darkest Blair Blairy Berry shade. This yeah, this is a very powdery palette. I mean that's the kick up, but I mean the amount of pigment you get this is a pressed Pigment or oh, shot. I have to look in just a second. I really cannot get over the pigment on this. I was going to take and do this eye on camera and this eye off, but as soon as I laid that pigment down and saw how pigmented it was, I was like, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll film this eye too, just so you guys can see. Now, let's see. What do we want to go in? Let's swatch some. So, I'm going to swatch this white. Uh, this is a topper. I'm going to swatch the one next to it and then the one yeah that's a not what I was expecting. Okay so oh, I've swatched this one, this one, and this one and this is one of those shades that has glimmer in it um I mean I may try that to see if um, if it's gonna end up being a matte once you fluff up the um, top but, and here's the rest of the shades. This is a very pretty pastel palette. And I unboxed a Nomad palette like that too. Those are really pretty colors. Um, I think, let's go in with, let's go in with that, that really pretty teal color that's kind of matchy-matchy to my shirt. But, <clears throat> this palette, as well as the Nomad palette, are stunning. And I wore my Nomad palette yesterday, and I added just a, on the tip of my finger, on the lower part, and I used this shade in the inner corner. This is a um, Saints Angel Sinners palette. And 
these are cream shadows and they are absolutely stunning I, they may look all alike on film but they're not <laughs> they're duos trios <laughs> but I, I, I always keep this one on my desk because it enhances any look all right enough about that <laughs> but this palette made me think of that and I'm just gonna lightly blend that all the way to the end I don't want it to be too green I mean blue if that makes any sense I definitely want it to be concentrated in the center but not so much on the end just enough that it looks blended now for that inner corner and uh, let's go in with let's go in with this one and then I'm going to top it with that one to see is a really pretty shimmer that needs to be applied with your fingers it barely came off on the brush oh wow that was not what I was expecting but it blended beautifully into that teal kind of really took it down a little bit <laughs> That is really pretty really 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 pretty so now I'm going to take that shade and I'm going to pop it in the center where they meet let's see I'm going to put this on a very crumbly I think This is a very, very powdery palette, but you know what? It's worth it. I think this palette was under $10, I think. Mm. This one is very crumbly. I felt it going down my it's pretty I mean it sparkles which really did surprise me because I assumed it was going to be one of those shades now I need to go back in and fix the other colors needed to add a little bit more I'm just covering that shade right up I don't like it not with this look it's a pretty shade I just don't think it works with this look I'm not even going to use that topper either because I 
think. It, well. It didn't do anything, just happened up there. So that's, that's good. All right. Inner corner. Let's take, let's take, let's take that shade that I had to cover up. No, we're not. We're going to take that shade <laughs> for the inner corner. That way I can use more of the palette. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this color will do. All right, that's it. I am gonna spray my face. That one got a little too close to my face. It <laughs> came out kind of strong. So, these are the eyes. And I'm gonna tell you what I used. Now that I can put my glasses on and read. Let's see. I used in the crease the shade So Meta, which is that shade. Then I used the shade Web, right here with two B's. <laughs> then I used Avatar which is that purple one and I used glitch which was a really pretty blue and then I followed that up with pixel and then covered it up <laughs> and the inner corner was tokens which is that one so very 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 pretty shades um they all work together I like that there's um two tones that you could or two directions that you could kind of go in in terms of the color story you you know there's neutrals warm and then you have a berry toned you know you could use this for a transition this to deepen it you know or this i, I do like the vers the versatility of this palette so very very happy with this and very um happy with the look that i created so alrighty guys i popped a lip on the lipstick is in the shade i don't know why i took my glasses off in the shade so magnetic and it too is from ColourPop their bullet lipsticks which I quite enjoy no brows and no mascara set everything with um, my old faithful my Ofra um, makeup fixer setting spray use that to wet the brush the the um, shadows as well as to set my face now I wanted to see was was this a pressed pigment or an eyeshadow palette ah pressed powder palette Okay, that makes sense. Not intended for use in the immediate eye area. Okay, well, yep. Don't do as I say or do. But I use this on the eye area. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for sticking with me and watching the video all the way to the end. As always, be beautiful, be kind, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.